In this session, we're going to touch on integrating printing with print service provided by Honeywell. We will be going to uh, the, what are the printing solutions available that you can uh, put together with your apps. Next, uh, we'll look at what are the some of preparation uh, required for you to get printing to the uh, print services. Um, we also will be walking through the uh, code itself in terms of uh, which code uh, help you to in trigger the printing of the HTML, the uh, PDF, and also the uh, images from your app to, to the And uh, last and not least, we also look at uh, if you have some challenges, uh, where do you get the support for the print services. The uh, option to print on the mobile are, first, you can integrate printing with the Honeywell SDK. This allows you to uh, print directly to the printer with the native printer commands. Or you can also integrate printing with the Honeywell Web SDK, which again you know, allow you to integrate printing on your web page by sen sending native command to your mobile web page. Um, and for today, we're going to touch on how you can print PDF images or HTML pages to the print services. This uh, will allow you to print without uh, integrating any uh, native printing command. So how the print service uh, works? Basically, it's like a driver on your desktop, but this is uh, this driver reside on the Android um, platform or device itself. So you can have your app, a PDF or images, and it will start up the uh, print service driver where you select to install print service by Honeywell. Go to your device Play Store, search for Honeywell Print Services, select the uh, print services by Honeywell, select install. It will take a few seconds for the print services to install on your Android devices. After installation, or you can find the uh, print services uh, installed on the uh, app gallery. If you start it, you will be able to see the print services version, the uh, device supported, the uh, ID for licensing for non-Honeywell devices. And uh, to configure and set up the print services, you need to go to the setting. Start the settings in the Android search for print select the print services you can see print services by honeywell listed there select it there's a default printer already configured which is pn4i by tapping on it you op you can open to edit the setting for the uh, pm uh, 4 4x uh, setting when you first run the print services you will ask you for permission to access the media click allow here you can select the uh, different model to print, the uh, interface, resolution, the uh, language, MAC address, the port, the width, the length, and the uh, print name will be uh, defined uh, when, whenever you change the setting. There are many other settings uh, which you use them later on based on your requirement. Once you finish your uh, setting, you just need to save it. If you want to add another um, printers, go to the uh, three top menu here, select Add Printers. And here you can add a second printer or the two printer and so forth. Once you set up the uh, configuration, just click on the uh, Add button here. And here you see, you can now have two printers. To delete these, any addition printers that are not required, select the printers, go and select the uh, Delete buttons or from the menu, select delete. And there you are, you have deleted the uh, addition uh, non-required uh, printers. All right, let's get some printing going. First, um, we will set up a printer. And for this one, we will be selecting the MPD31 with the Bluetooth connection, as you can see here, uh, with the uh, Escape P uh, firmware. And here, the MAC address, we set the print width with 78mm uh, and length of 80 and we will want to select the fit to page such that any uh, um, 
uh, PDF that we're trying to print will fit into this 78 by 80 mm. All right, once you are done, you just need to save it. And uh, any setting that you change is always good to turn off and on the uh, print services. Now let's go to the uh, file manager. And in the file man manager, we select the uh, PDF file that we want to print. And you can see that this is the PDF that we're going to print. Um, on the uh, three dot menu here is select print and this will trigger the uh, Google or, or Android uh, print service uh, preview. This is how you, it look like on the preview itself. You select the uh, MPD31 up here uh, for the printer that you want to print and then select the uh, print button on the green print button here. All right. I tap on it and you can see that it's preparing to print and that's uh, see the printer uh, printing out you know the print job here all right so this is how it get printed uh, on the uh, mpd31 what you just seen is a manual way of uh, doing a print by selecting a pdf file and uh, get it printed manually now uh, most of the um, operation would require integrating the print function into your application. So here we put together a simple demo uh, that will demonstrate how we integrate the code by or printing uh, an image, uh, HTML pages, or a PDF uh, uh, files. All right, let's see how this thing work on the device itself. So that if, if I have a image, for example, I can trigger the printing to my app by selecting the uh, print function. As you can see, now I'm going to print this image to the MPD uh, printer by clicking on the print button here. Same thing, you'll go into the printing function. All right, so you can see that the, uh, the image of the dog is printed on the PDF. Now let's go back to the uh, application again. And if I'm going to print a web page, imagine I go go to the uh, google.com. I'm going to print the web page here. All right. So I'm going to print the web pages. The Google web page is being uh, printed on the uh, printers. All right. Likewise, um, if I want to print a PDF file, let's see how I do. Um, let me select a PDF file to print. All right. And same thing, I go and print the PDF file. And let me show you the uh, printing of the uh, PDF file. All right. So that's how it works uh, when it comes to integrating the printing. All right. So let's look at some of the code, how this thing works here. So um, if you refer to uh, Android developer uh, website under the uh, developer.android.com slash training slash printing, these are uh, uh, documentation and uh, sample code inside here. And if you go to printing a, a photo, which is the printing image we just show you, and also printing an HTML file, which I also demonstrate to you. So, you, so if you look at printing photo, um, basically, these are the code required for you to integrate into your uh, applications. So if you look at the uh, sample code here, uh, when I select the printing of the image file, the first thing you need to call on is to call a print helper uh, object. And by pointing this to your uh, main, your activity that is going to do the printing. Next, uh, you can set the uh, scale mode uh, to, to mode fix, which uh, size the image for the whole image to the uh, printable area. And, and then you can uh, call the file name and load the uh, image file into a bitmap uh, object. And the last uh, set, uh, statement here is to uh, call on the uh, print helper object to print the uh, bitmap. All right, so you see you can pass on the bitmap to get it print. All right, so basically that's all you need to do if you want to trigger printing an image file from your application. Uh, in, in terms of printing the uh, the web page, basically you are calling onto the view uh, web view 
Um, so you, you create a web view on your application and pass the web view into into the uh, uh, print job itself. So let's look at the how this web view works. Okay, on the web view itself, you need to call on the print manager object, and uh, and this print manager uh, it take reference from your main activity to to the context of the uh, print services. Uh, next, you need to create a print adapter. And this basically uh, take reference from your web view and create the uh, document that you, uh, you want to print from this web page itself. Uh, finally, you just need to call on to your print manager to do a print, which pass on you know a, a job name describing what the job you do, the print adapter, and 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 just provide a attribute of this to build the entire print job for 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 the printing. And that's that's how uh, easily you can print a web view pages uh, onto a printer. Alright, finally, uh, how to print a PDF file um, is very similar to what described here in terms of printing a custom document. But uh, for PDF, you need to read in the document uh, into the uh, print job itself. So let's look at the code here. Um, so basically, um, the you go to this function here, which I'm going to show you. All right. First of all, again, you call on the print manager, uh, create a context to it. Uh, next, uh, create the uh, print document adapter. And in this adapter itself, there are some override function, which is one of them is the on write. And this on write is the one that you want to read in the uh, PDF document. So you can see that I'm, I'm actually doing a, a reading of the PDF file here. And and, and you write out to a, a output stream uh, after you reading them, and when when you finish reading everything, uh, you um, co uh, close the uh, callback function. All right, then you close all the uh, input output stream that you have done, and uh, and also on the uh, layout itself. Uh, you can you also need to call on this uh, function here in order to complete the um, uh, override function of all, all this on layout all right and finally uh, at the end of it you just need to print out the uh, job of this um, uh, PDF uh, documentation so basically this is all you need to do when you do the uh, PDF printing all right, so um, if you require this sample source code, you can reach out to uh, Haniel and we can share the uh, source code view. If not, um, um, this few now code, you can just uh, refer them on, to the, on the video here. All right, hope you have a good uh, integration of printing with your application. If you have any question on a print service by Honeywell, um, you can visit our support.honeywell AIDC.com. Open the incident from there, and uh, you can you will be route to the uh, resource that can support you on that. Um, and also, if you have any uh, feedback regarding um, any improvement that you want to uh, add on to the um, print service by Honeywell, you can also email to us at uh, apad.software at honeywell.com. All right, that's all for this session. Thank you.